Hello again, here we are with our new OpenRC Tractor video. We are finishing the Excel uh, assembly. Mm, well, we already finished the assembly itself, but today we're going to connect everything and see uh, if everything works, okay? Uh, there is, it's not really difficult, but there is one important thing, and that is that I'm using two ESCs, one for the main motors of the rear wheels and another one for the rear arms and also the PTO. When you're using two ESCs, it's really important that you don't connect positive cable on both of them, okay, to the receiver. So what I did is carefully I extracted this cable from inside and I insulated it, okay? So with that, we're not going to have any problems. And let's go. Let's start with the connections. Okay, first of all, there is no particular order, but um, I'm going to, for example, connect main motor first. These are cables from main motors. This, as you can see, one of them One of the motors should be inversed because they work mirrored. So as you can see, one, I soldered this cable positive with positive and the other one I inverted, okay? So positive with negative, negative with positive. That's because they, they work in, uh, in a mirrored way. Okay, so let's connect now both motors. I prepared a cable here in which I'm connecting the motor out of the EEC, ESC okay, to both rear motors. Okay, I'm using this Kickrun 1060 burst motor for these motors and it can work with 3S LiPo, so that's perfect. Now for the rear arms and PTO, I'm using this cheap version, cheap ESC with two motor outputs, okay? This and this one. That's good because in, uh, this way I can connect, for example, in this case, both rear arms, both linear motors with jumper cables and this Y cable to connect both to one of the outputs, okay, motor output, and the PTO is here to the other one. That way, with the same ESC, I can control both, both motors. Now, uh, to connect to the receiver, okay, uh, you just have to connect everything. Remember, this is really, really important. Don't connect this positive because something might go really wrong. Um, just connect data and negative. I'm using this for channel in channel five. Then this yellow cable is for the other channel. Four in my case, data. First row is data, okay? second row is positive and third row to the right is negative in this case already connected okay just the battery and same with the main esc i'm using now channel two for this for the throttle and then the main steering servo with channel one okay that's perfect now, once, once we have everything connected, now it's time to check if everything works. Now, we have to connect batteries now. I'm using 2S, small battery for rear arms and PTO, okay? First, don't, uh, don't forget, it's really important that you turn your radio on before connecting batteries, okay? Radio on. Now we have the radio 
connected, we can connect battery for the secondary ESC and battery. I'm using 3S in this case. As you can see, uh, with this tractor, there is no problem of room. So you can use even a 5,000 um, 3S LiPo battery. That's going to fit, no problem. And in this case, I'm using this smaller. That's okay. So let's connect everything and check if that works. Steering, perfect, throttle. Be careful with the cables. Everything should be inside, but just to test. Okay, and PTO, one. Okay, the other, and rear arms. Perfect. Again, you can, with a three switch position, you can stop whenever you want. And same with PTO, it's working. So everything works. Perfect. That's it. Now, all we have to do is put everything inside. Uh, there is no problem, no room problem here, because this Excel version has plenty of room for everything inside. Okay, so... That's it, all connected, everything working. Hope that you like this new project, this new design. Um, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.